Hi everybody, it's Jessica here from Jessica Jewel Yoga and welcome to today's practice which is yoga for sleep. It is never nice when we're having those really long sleepless nights and then we get up in the morning and we're feeling exhausted for the day ahead of us. It's not fun. So a part of that, a part of managing that is by coming into a practice that is helping us just to slow everything down. So we're trying to get the cortisol levels down, so think of that as the stress hormone, bringing a bit more balance to it, as well as the other systems in the body as well. So we're wanting to you know, reduce the pace of the, the heart, for example, lower the heart rate, we're wanting to lower the breath, the respiratory system, we're wanting to just slow everything down, because in doing so then that helps us to sleep peacefully. So let's start by coming onto our backs. We're going to lay here for a little bit, so be prepared for that. So we're coming onto our backs with our knees bent, hands are onto your belly, fingertips touching one another, okay? Draw your shoulder blades under and start to open up through the chest. And just starting now by resting on your back. Letting your breath flow freely. There's no tension in your neck. You can gently rock the head from side to side so that you know there's no tension in your neck. And as you breathe in, let's take the breath into the belly. Just starting to expand through the belly and notice that your fingertips start to separate a little as you do so. And then as you exhale, release and allow your fingertips to draw back towards one another. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. One more, inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, let's just draw these knees in towards the belly and hold. A little bit of a rock here from side to side. You're giving yourself a nice hug. It's tight, but it's not too tight. We still want a little bit of space there between the thighs and the belly. And from here, just place the sole of your left foot down onto the mat, or if it's comfortable for you, you can actually extend your left leg all the way down the mat. Keep this right leg close to you, draw it in nice and close. Each time you exhale, see if you can draw that knee in a tiny bit closer. And then keeping hold of the right shin or knee with the right hand and take your left hand onto your left hip. Let's just create some nice big circles here with that right leg. Trying to keep the left hip nice and still. Just getting some really gentle movement through the hip and the groin. Releasing whatever tension, emotional stress that we're holding through the hips here. And let's just change the direction to the other side. And then let's bring that right knee back in towards the belly. You may already notice a change at this point. You might feel that that leg is coming in a little bit closer towards your belly. You may not, that's okay. I'd like you just to slide the left foot up, so the sole of the left foot's onto the mat. Then extend your right leg up towards the sky, holding behind your calf or behind your thigh. Uh, I did that in reverse, holding behind your thigh or behind your calf, or whatever works for you. And then from here, as you exhale, just see if you can draw that leg in a little bit closer. One of the hardest parts of a practice like this is our ability to stay still, to remain still. We can sometimes come into these 
deep stretches and feel quite uncomfortable and it brings up a whole lot of stuff for us. But you see life is full of challenges, it's full of uncomfortable situations but we can sit with it and we can work through it. And so if you're feeling like this is a super deep stretch and which it is and you are doing your very best to resist the urge to pull your leg away and stretch the leg out just take an extra breath before doing so because whilst that extra breath may seem seemingly insignificant it's actually quite fundamental in your practice and symbolically demonstrating our ability to sit with discomfort and to work through it because we can let's just gently release that right leg place it on top of your left thigh press your right knee away from you this might be enough for you today otherwise if you want to come further lift your left leg up slide your hands through grab hold of your left shin or perhaps between your left calf and thigh totally up to you wherever you are today keep listening into your breath let it relax you And from here let's release the hands and then slide that right knee over the left take your hands out at shoulder height deep breath exhale let your knees come over to that left side you can just shuffle your left hip under a little bit more keep that right shoulder blade down if you'd like a full twist turning your gaze over to the right notice if you're guarding something in your body if you're holding tension perhaps through the hip, the groin, and the back, somewhere you're holding. Trust that your body is safe and as you exhale see if you can just let go. One more deep breath. Exhale, relax. And this time inhale, coming back up to center. Release, releasing your hands. Just extend your legs down in Shavasana for a moment here. Let the feet fall out to the side and notice any change from your left to your right. Perhaps noticing the prana that tingling sensation as it travels all the way down that right leg and then ever so gently bringing your left leg up hug it in in towards your belly draw it close Remember, you can bend through your knee if you prefer, or keep that leg extended, whatever is best for you. And then let's keep the right hand on the right hip, fall to your left knee or shin, and let's find those nice big circles here. Trying to keep that right hip very, very still.
changing that direction, come the other way. And then drawing that left leg back in towards your belly. Good option to bend through the right leg or keep it extended and then extend your left leg up towards the sky, holding behind your thigh or behind your calf, up to you. Shoulders are relaxed and stay there. Nothing is forced in this pose in any pose. But here we just want to feel the body start to melt into the pose as we soften, as we relax. Really softening through the forehead and the jaw. And then let's slowly lower down sliding that foot on top of your right thigh option just starting by pressing that knee away from you starting to open up through the hip otherwise inhale lift up slide your hands between the calf and the thigh or if you, it's available around your right shin and then just draw that knee in relax try to relax your shoulders gently close your eyes and be here Enjoy that deep stretch that you're getting through that left hip, the left glute. If something's feeling a little uncomfortable, see what it is. See if you can work through it. Perhaps a gentle sh uh, change of the pose or slight change of the pose might help you feel a bit more comfortable. Remembering that every single body is different. We need to work with what we have. Be grateful for what we have. And then from here, releasing the hands. And we're just going to slide that left leg over, perhaps shuffle over a little to the right there. And then from here, just slowly rolling over onto that right side, upper back nice and flat, and then just turning your gaze to the left. Really just working to release all these blockages that we can hold through the spinal cord we can hold through the muscles we just want to let that go and so if you're guarding in any place see if you can relax and enjoying this nourishing twist Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, uncrossing your legs, extend both legs all the way down the mat. And let's just find our way now into Shavasana. Release and relax. 